for my taste, we're way too concerned right now with goodness. <laughs> yeah. Right. And you know what? I grew up in a religious family, also a very political family. You know, it was a it was liberal Presbyterianism, not you know Mormonism or something. And to me, it 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 makes me feel rebellious. And I still feel that way. It's like there's more to life than following the rules or getting your head padded or, you know, being nice or promoting the right candidate. I, I, I like concerning myself with things that are outside of heaven and hell and mm -hmm. I don't understand why everyone seems to have been swallowed up by this giant moralism. And most importantly, I think the arts are suffering from this because we seem to have completely lost uh, sight of the fact that the arts are not for the pursuit of moral purposes. That, first off, they're, they're a luxury, they're a frivolity, they're a, an icing on on the cake they, and they're not necessary. Okay, that's one of the nicest things about them. They're, that it's, we could conceivably get through our animal lives with no arts whatsoever. Right. Nobody needs paintings really, <laughs> nobody needs movies. It may seem that way. It means, seems like that we're addicted to Netflix but actually we would survive without them. No, but I don't want it. And, um, and, you know, that people talk about what art is for. The, the truth is, is there is no answer to that question. Mm -hmm. now, the, uh, the arts are for whatever the artist decides this particular creation is for. There is no pat, you know, a, a assignment to a, an artistic product that it has to fulfill certain things. It just has to be good in its own terms. And that may just mean that it's funny. Right. which is some of the stuff you've done. You know, and you can add a little bit of political content as you have done. Right? And I found some of your We The Internet TV stuff hilarious. Thank you. Um, but its primary purpose is to be funny mm -hmm. and, and then secondarily to get you to laugh at certain hypocrisies and liberal pieties. Yeah. But... Uh, this whole idea that somehow when you write a book or whatever, that it, it, it has to be promoting um, virtue, it's, a, it, it's repellent to me. Yeah. And, and that's, it's repellent to me, not just as somebody who writes books, but also who reads them and who, who watches films. And I don't want to be lectured to. Um, I don't, I don't w w want to have uh, environmentalism, for example, shoved down my throat. I tend to shy away from, you know, sci-fi books about climate change. And it's just that it's too obvious what they're for. And it's too, you know, it's, it feels too pointed and and I don't have an appetite for that.